Monica Salmonferrato is a town in the Piedmont region in Italy, in the province of Alessandria. It is situated about 60 kilometers east of Turin on the right bank of the Po, where the river runs at the foot of the Montferrat Hills. Beyond the river lies the vast plain of the Po Valley. Since it became a Roman municipium the town has been the most important center of the zone. After a spell of decline, due to the fall of the Roman Empire and the barbaric invasion, Casal became a free municipality and from the 15th century to the 16th century was the capital of the Paleologos. Then the Gonzaga got hold of the town and built one of the biggest and most important citadel of Europe. In the 17th century and the 18th century was besieged by both the Spanish and French armies. Interested in its strategical position, during Italian unification Casal has been one of the defensive bulwarks against the Austrian Empire. Today Casal, in the middle of the industrial triangle Turin Milan Genoa, is an important industrial center. Known for the production of cement and the closed factory Etonet, that produce the homonymous material, very dangerous due to the presence of asbestos. Thousands of inhabitants of Casal have died from mesothelioma, a fatal disease caused by the breathing of asbestos. In 2012, former executives and Etonet shareholders Stefan Schmid Heine and Louis de Cartier were ordered to pay $32.5 million to the town of Casal, Monferrato, after being convicted of involuntary manslaughter for exposing workers and townspeople to asbestos. History the origins of the town are fairly obscure. It is known that the Gaulish settlement of Vardicate existed on the Po in this area, and that it became a Roman municipium. By the beginning of the 8th century, there was a small town under Lombard rule, probably called Sedula or Sedulia. It was here that one saint of Asia, along with 146 followers, was decapitated on the orders of the Arian Duke Tabulo. Leoprand, king of the Lombards is said to have supported the construction of a church in honor of Evasius. Certainly the martyrs' cult flourished, and by 988 AD, the town had become known as Casal di Santavasia. At the time of Charlemagne Main, the town came under the temporal and religious power of the bishops of Vercelli, from which it was freed by Frederick Barbarossa, Holy Roman Emperor and King of Italy. It was sacked by the anti-imperial troops of Vercelli, Alessandria and Milan in 1215, but rebuilt and fortified in 1220. It fell under the power of the Marquis of Montferrat in 1292, and later became the capital of the Marquisate. The condottier Facino Cain was born in Casal Monferrato and he participated, financed by the Duke of Milan Gian Galeazzo Visconti in the Battle of Casalecchio in 1402, but Theodore II, Marquis of Montferrat, the son of Isabella of Majorca, did not participate. In 1536 it passed to the Gonzagas of Mantua, who fortified it strongly. Thereafter it was of considerable importance as a fortress. In 1745, following the defeat of the Piedmontese army at the Battle of Bassignano, Casal was occupied by the victorious French and Spanish troops. Much damage was caused to the city's buildings. The subsequent renovation and rebuilding in the Baroque style made a substantial contribution to the urban texture. It successfully resisted the Austrians in 1849 and was strengthened in 1852. Towards the end of the 19th century it became known as Cement Capital, thanks to the quantity of Portland cement in the hills nearby, and in the 20th century it acquired printing press and refrigerator industries. Main Sites Piazza Mazzini and its environs The historic center of the town is itself centered on Piazza Mazzini, the site of the Roman Forum. Named for Giuseppe Mazzini, a key Republican figure of the Risorgimento, it is dominated by an 1843 equestrian statue by Abundio San Giorgio of King Charles Albert of Piedmont Sardinia, dressed in Roman costume, specifically as a senator, with his knees uncovered. The statue was commissioned by the municipal authorities as a mark of gratitude to the king for having selected Casal as the seat of Piedmont's 
Second Court of Appeal and to celebrate the construction of Castle's first permanent bridge across the Po. Locally the square is called Piazza Cavallo. Cathedral A little to the east of the square is the Lombard Romanesque Cathedral of Sant'Evasia, originally founded in 742, rebuilt in the early 12th century and consecrated on 7 January 1107 by Pope Paschal II. It occupies a site where once was a Roman temple dedicated to Jupiter. It underwent restoration in 1706 and again in the 19th century. The cathedral has an asymmetric facade, including a complex nuthix with two galleries connected by a tribune enclosed by round arches. The interior houses the relics of St. Evasius and, near the presbytery, fragments 11th century pavement mosaics with biblical scenes. San Domenico in 1471, after William VIII, Marquess of Montferrat had chosen Casal as the permanent location of the Marquisate court. Construction began of the Church of San Domenico, to the north of Piazza Mazzini. Work on the building ceased for some time, as a result of political instability, in the early 16th century a fine, if slightly incongruous, Renaissance portal was imposed on the late Gothic façade, via Lanza via Lanza, which runs northwards from the northwest corner of Piazza Mazzini, is known for the Cremieri Rossi Bakery which indeed produces cremieri, biscuits which have been a speciality of Casal since their legendary invention in 1870 by one Domenico Rossi after an evening spent with friends in Piazza Mazzini's Café della Concordia. Also in Via Lanza is the 17th-century Church of San Giuseppe, probably designed by Sebastiano Guala. A painting attributed to the Ursuline nun Lucrina Feta shows Christ venerated by Santa Vesia and includes a very accurate depiction of contemporary Casal with its civic tower. The church and convent of San Francesco, which housed the remains of many of the Marquises of Monferrato, was turned to other uses during the 18th century and demolished in the 19th. The high open tower which is a landmark of Ireland belongs to Palazzo Morelli di Popola, it has been attributed to Bernardo Vitton, and also to Magnocca Valley, both are believed to have had a hand in the refurbishment of the building. Via Safi running west from Piazza Mazzini to Piazza Castello is Via Safi, which contains one of the town's most recognizable landmarks, the Tor Civica. This brick tower, square in plan and 60 meters high, dates from the 11th century but suffered severe fire damage in April 1504 when a festival to celebrate the peace between Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I and King Louis XII of France got out of hand. The reconstruction, completed six years later by Matteo San Michele, produced a taller structure which included the current bell chamber. The balconies attached to the upper part of the tower were added during the period of Gonzaga rule. Subsequent restorations were carried out in 1779 and again in 1920. Adjoining the tower is the Church of Santo Stefano which stands on the east side of a small square named after it. The church's origins date to the beginning of the second millennium, but it was largely rebuilt in the mid-17th century under a project attributed to Sebastiano Guala. Work on the current façade began in 1787 but was not completed until the late 19th century. Inside are paintings by Giovanni Francesco Carato, Il Moncalvo, Giorgio Alberini, and Francesco Cairo, adorning both the walls and the vault of 15 tondi depicting prophets, apostles and the Virgin painted by Pietro Francesco Guala in 1757, the last year of his life. The south side of Piazza Santo Stefano, facing back towards Via Safi, is formed by the neoclassical Palazzo Ricci di Sarasito. The imposing facade, marked by four massive brick columns, was built in 1806 to an earlier design by the local architect Francesco Ottavio Magnocca Valley. Also in the square there is a marble statue of the archaeologist and architect Luigi Canina by Benedetto Cacciatore.
Piazza Castello Piazza Castello is a large irregularly shaped open space used as a car park and as a market square. It is dominated by the castle of the Paleologi which occupies most of its western side. The square arose in 1858 through the demolition of the castle's eastern ravelin, and was extended in the late 19th, early 20th century when the remaining ravelins were removed. The castle The castle itself is an imposing 15th-century military construction, with a hexagonal plan, four round towers and an encircling moat. Santa Caterina at the southeast corner of the piazza is the elegant Baroque church of Santa Maria del Grazi, better known by its earlier designation of Santa Caterina, a masterwork of Giovanni Battista Scapita, completed after his death by Giacomo Zanetti. It is marked by an elliptical cupola and a facade curvilinear both in plan and elevation. Tetro Municipal The Theatre, which stands at the northeastern corner of the piazza at the end of Via Safi, opened in 1791 with a performance of the La Mogli Capricciosa, an opera buffer by Vincenzo Fabrizi. Its construction, to a design by Abbot Agostino Vitoli of Spoleto, had taken six years. However, it fell into disuse during the period of Napoleonic rule and remained closed for several decades. After extensive internal embellishment, the theatre reopened in 1840 with a performance of Vincenzo Bellini's Beatrice di Tender. In 1861 the theatre was sold by the Societa dei Nobili to the local authority which made it more accessible to the general public. Nevertheless it fell again into decline. During World War II it was used as a store. Major restoration work took place in the 1980s and the theatre finally reopened in 1990 with a performance by Vittorio Gassman. Since then it has offered a mixture of theatre, music and dance, while the foyer is used for exhibitions, usually photographic. The horseshoe-shaped auditorium with stalls, four tiers of boxes and a gallery is richly decorated with frescoes, stucco, gilding and velvet. The curtains of the royal box hang from a structure supported on stucco caryatids by Abundio San Giorgio who also designed the equestrian statue in Piazza Mazzini via Garibaldi and Santa Lario from the side of the theatre via Garibaldi leads northwards to the 16th century church of Santa Lario, founded in 380 in honour of Hilary of Poitiers. It was completely rebuilt in 1566 and was largely restructured towards the end of the 19th century. The church's polychrome facade is of interest and it contains two important works by Niccolò Musso, the Madonna del Carmine and San Francesco i Piedi del Crocefata originally from the Church of San Francesco, via Roma, ghetto and synagogue behind the shops on the west side of via Roma, which runs southwards from Piazza Mazzini lay the ghetto which persisted until the emancipation of the Jews in Piedmont following Charles Albert's concession of a constitution. The Statuta Albertino, under the revolutionary pressures of 1848, the synagogue of Casal Monferrato is inside a building at Vicolo Olpa 44 that offers no hint from its nondescript exterior that it is a synagogue. Built in 1595, and recognized as one of the most beautiful in Europe, the women's galleries now host an important Jewish museum. Of particular interest are the tablets of the law in gilded wood, dating from the 18th century. Numerous Ramoni Minotauro carved in with silver filigree, the Giardini Publici and public sculpture the public gardens which front the railway station extend westwards, dissected by various streets. Almost to the southern end of Via Roma, they contain a range of monuments to figures of local and national renown including Giovanni Lanza, Giuseppe Antonio Ottavi, Filippo Melana, and Giuseppe Garibaldi. The most important, however, is Bistolfi's War Memorial of 1928. A marble exedra with four caryatids in the form of winged victories is raised on a diaz fronted with steps. The bronze sculptural Fanti Crociata, a foot soldier in Crusader period costume, 
takes center stage, a second bronze a lightly robed Primavera Italica steps down from the platform and out of the ensemble. Other public sculptures of note in Casal include the monument to King Charles Albert in Piazza Mazzini mentioned above. Bistolfi's 1887 monument to Urbano Ratazzi in Piazza Ratazzi, Benedetto Cacciatore's Luigi Canina in Piazza Santo Stefano, the Monumento alla Divse di Casal, situated to the north of the castle, commemorates the vigorous action which took place during the First Italian War of Independence in 1849 to defend the city against Austrian troops who had just taken part in the defeat of the Piedmontese army. In the Priocco district, to the south of the historic center, in Viale Ottavio Marchino, there is a monument by Virgilio Ordagna to the cement industrialist Ottavio Marchino, son of the founder of Cementa Marchino, which is now part of Buzzi Unisim. Palazzi The historic center is marked by many palazzi which are often Baroque in appearance reflecting the urban renewal which took place in the early decades of the 18th century. Among the best known are, the 15th century Palazzo of the Marchesa Anna de Lancon in Via Alessandria, the 15th century Palazzo Treviso, in Via Trevigi, was restructured on behalf of Anne de Lancon before being given to the Dominican convent. During the Napoleonic period it was used as a lyceum and has subsequently remained in scholastic use. Palazzo del Carata, also known as the Catatornielli, in Via Canina, again dating from the 15th century, now housing a language school. The medieval Casa Biandrit, at the junction of Via Guazzo and Via Marini, has preserved its late Gothic character. Palazzo San Azzaro, a Gothic building in Via Mameli, remodeled in the Baroque style, by Giacomo Zanetti. Palazzo Gozani di Treville, regarded as the most beautiful in the town and as one of the two most important works of Giovanni Battista Scapita, the other being the Church of Santa Caterina, mentioned above. The Rococo atrium and courtyard are particularly praised, as is the long and gently curved façade which follows the path of Via Mameli. Palazzo Gozani di San Giorgio, now the town hall, was partially rebuilt in the years 1775-8 to a design by Filippo Nicolas de Robilant. The façade is a three orders with its windows surrounded by decorations in stucco, Via Mameli. Palazzo Magnocavalli has a façade commissioned from Giacomo Zanetti by the architect Francesco Ottavio Magnocavalli. Inside, the monumental twisted staircase, supported by two columns, fits gracefully into a very restricted space. Via Mameli, Palazzo Fondara, built in 1840 in the neoclassical style by the Vercelli's Pietro Bossa, forms the east side of Piazza Mazzini. The site was previously occupied by the Church of Santa Maria di Piazza which was deconsecrated during the Napoleonic period. Since 1925 it has been a bank. Palazzo Langisco, in Via Court d'Apolo, encloses part of the main cloister of the former Augustinian convent complex of Santa Croce. Once the seat of the Senate of Montferrat, it now houses the public library. The neoclassical Palazzo Sacchino Mors, beside the Teatro Civico in Via Safi, was built in 1750-2 by the local architect Francesco Ottavio Magnocavalli. Palazzo Ricci di Sarasito, in Piazzetta di S. Stefano, has an imposing neoclassical facade fronted by four massive brickwork columns, constructed in 1806 by G. Battista Formaglia, probably following a design by Magnocavalli. Palazzo Gaspardin Ottavi, in Via Cavour, came into the possession of the Ottavi family during the 19th century and is noted for Bistolfi's plaque commemorating Ottavio Ottavi in a memorial. Tablet to St. Luigi Gonzaga. Museums and Galleries The Civic Museum is located in the ancient convent of Santa Croce, whose cloister is decorated with frescoes by Il Moncalvo. Music Casal was an important center for Italian music from the 13th through the 17th centuries. During the Albigensian Crusade, 
Casal was a refuge for troubadours fleeing regions to the west. The music of such troubadours may have been decisive in the formation of secular Italian musical styles in the 14th century. In the 16th century the town was incorporated into the holdings of the Gonzaga family, who were patrons of music throughout the Renaissance. The cathedral there has in its archives polyphonic music by Jean Mouton, Andreas de Silva, and Francesco Salavinia, as well as important prints by Giovanni Pierluigi da Palestrina and other major composers of the period. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Casal was the site for premieres of operas by Giulio Cesare Monteverdi, Pietro Guglielmi, and Pasquale Anfossa, and was the birthplace of the Swiss-Italian composer Carlo Avesia Soliva. Currently the city's musical center is the Teatro Municipal Economy. Casal is situated in a plain where rice cultivation is predominant, and in an area of cement-bearing hills and wineries. Casal is also well known for being the district of refrigeration, one of the main of Italy. The district in Casal has born in November 1945, with the first company called Frangafrigores, R. L. New companies started in 1957 Mondial Frigories, R. L and many more after, only to name Fucama S.P.A., Kofi S.P.A., Framic S.P.A., all of them connected in some way with Franga Frigga. In 1965 Vendor Italy S.P.A., who sales bottle coolers and vending machines. Late, 60 Cold Car started a new production in refrigerated vehicles using eutectic plates. Other companies started production in the following years. Industria Paraciatura Refrigerati R, Pasta Frigga, General Filter, Unifrigga, IARP, Dina, is another company working on refrigeration filters and capillary tubes. Around 13 manufacturing companies work now in this field. Most of the production in Casal is about vending machines, bottle coolers, vertical and horizontal cabinet, refrigerated trucks. In this field many of the technological innovations driven by environmental and energy efficiencies aspects which are used by those companies. Casal is also known for the training facilities in refrigeration and air conditioning organized by Centro Studi Galileo since 1975. Centro Studi Galileo and Casal arrive more than 1,000 delegates to attend the periodical courses to learn the refrigeration technique in preparation to the certification of personnel. Twin towns, sister cities. Casal Monferrato is twinned with Trinava, Slovakia, since 1967. Weinstadt, Germany, since 2007. Pescara, Italy, since 2009. Giro Casta, Albania, since 2010.